Ah, what's going on, my little dragons? Are we feeling today? If you're feeling good, please do let me know down in the comments below. Drop a like on this video, share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to punch that subscribe button as it will help your little dragon out so very much. Man, I'm so excited. I can't tell you how excited I am for this movie. It's coming out soon. I want to. I, I'm so busy actually. I'm with work and stuff, so it does suck. But I do want to watch this in cinemas, man. I want that experience for two main reasons. One is Scream as freaking. It's it's my favorite. One of my favorite films. Of all time, definitely one of my favorite horror films. Of all time. It's it's one of my favorite horror films of all time. Just, and I am a big horror fan. I watch a lot of horror films. Scream One is the first ever horror film that I watched by myself in the house. I was all by myself, no one at home. I was just there by myself watching it at night, man. At midnight, that was the first film I did. I did it when I was sixteen. I, ch I challenged myself, man. There was no one at home, and I was I, ch I took it as a challenge, and I did it, and I watched that film. I freaking, it was scary and at the same time it was so lovable for me. For me, I, I, when I get attached to a movie, man, it, it can't, it just stays with me for a long period of time. And I did end up watching um, Scream 2, 3 and 4 I watched recently. 4 was very, very good as well, man. 1 is the best, 100%. 4 was very good. I've seen 5 as well, but 4 was just very good, very good. In my opinion, 1 was the best. Two is like somewhat okay, you know, it, it kind of does drop a bit, but it is an acceptable attempt. Three, I don't know what happened there, man. I, I wasn't really a big fan of it. I, I literally lost my hope after that film. That's why I put away four for a while. I was like, okay, I don't, I think they're running out of like story ideas. And I didn't, I didn't like the path that it was going towards, you know, because they, they were going towards Hollywood and the stab movie and that, how that's related to Scream that we're watching and, all of that drama that they're going into, it wasn't, I didn't really find it interesting, so I gave it up at three. But then recently when I heard about um, Scream 4 and 5, and five, 4 was a thing that people were talking about. I was like, you know what, I don't think it's any harm to go check out number 4. I watched number 5 because Jenna Oti, that's the reason I'm so excited to watch this as well, because Jenna Otiga is in it. I love Jenna Otiga. And uh, Jenna Otiga, um, she's in 5, it was so sad to watch that scene, but still, Scream 5. And Scream 4, Scream 4 being the second, like, the best. And then I watched Scream 5 as well, which was okay. So, yeah, well, after watching all of those, I am having, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to expect anything, but something, you know, of course they're going to do the phone call and all of that stuff, you know, the creepy phone call, the guy with the voice and the killing, the stabbing, the gore, everything's going to be there. They're going to put in, some, someone's going to be the killer, someone around the circle is going to be the killer. We all know this, but... Being the success that it is, and after this many years, I've been the first one came out in 1996 before I was even born, and then now 2023. So, this many years later, it still stands. People still talk about it, people are still fans of it. So, just for that, I'm excited, man. So, yes, first we're going to check out the trailer in this video, and I hope we can go to the cinemas and check this one. So, yes, my little dragons, let's go. All right, now, boom. Get you right. Let's go. Oh, Jenna. You got a problem here, guy? Bro, do you know? Doesn't that guy watch the news or something? I'll be scared, bro. Boy. Oh, please don't hurt Jenna Otiga again. Oh, that killing scene in the last movie. Painful. I had this secret. There's a darkness inside of me. It followed me here. And it's gonna keep coming for us. We share a certain history. This is Yo. like any other ghost face. What is this place? A shrine. Hello, what's the name? We've got a Gloria Men. Gail. Gail Hello. We're Aren't sitting in Presto. Okay? You know you're like the tenth That's guy to try bad. this, right? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask. Maybe. 
You need to see that. Wow. I'm something different. That's why I'm gonna shoot you in the head. No, you wasted your bullets. Oh God. You wasted your bullets. Oh my days. You want me. So let's finish this. That could be anybody. Okay. All right. You know what sucks, man? You know what sucks? All of the... Um, if I was ever, like... I would say there's nothing wrong with these people... Who have been the victims to just carry knives and guns or, or guns with them at all, at all times, you know? There's nothing wrong because these killers just come in jumping out of nowhere, bro. Every friend they make and just turns out, if they make a group of friends, two of them are turning out to be killers, which is wild. Um, the ki the scene, the first intro scene with Jenna Ortega when she's getting attacked by the killer and the killer beats her up, right? And that crushing sound when he crushes her foot. Her ankle, he steps on her ankle and crushes that foot. She's ah, oh, and then he goes to stab her and she puts her hand and then he goes right through her hand. Oh my God. That shows like the film sold that scene pretty well. And that's what kept me through the film. Um, number five, you know, the, the, that scene, Jenna's and Jenna's acting was brilliant as well. Jenna's acting in the hospital and she cries and uh, talks to her sister. But for, th for these killers, those are crazy killers. For them to just... Because they weren't even trying to kill Jenna. Because they were trying to... They were trying to harm her. Uh, break her so that she... Her sister comes. And then they're going to kill everybody. And then create the story for the movies. But, uh... Bro, Jenna... Bro... The, the, oh, my God. These people have no sympathy whatsoever when they kill him. That's... Yeah, for those people who like that sort of stuff. It really, man, it goes straight to the heart. It goes straight. Bro, it messes my head up so much watching it. Right, I, I, my stomach turns over every time I see those killing scenes. Especially when these, they, they do something so stupid. They do something so stupid throughout the whole movies. Because all of them, the party scenes are always there. That scene, I always, always, I, I know. Like, I know it's going to happen in that party. There's not been a single time that's never happened in a party. It'll be in a party... So that when, that however loud they scream, no one's going to turn up because <laughs> the music's so loud. I want to, yeah, there's going to be stuff like that in this. Of course, they're going to always use the highlight moments. Um, but I want to see it in cinemas. I never got that chance. I do want to see it in cinemas. Oh my God. Got that goosebumps right now. <laughs> thinking about this. And Jenna, man, Jenna Ortega is acting so far. I've been happy with everything she's been doing, you know, Wednesday, whether it's um, Stuck in the Middle, whether it's Fallout, that's brilliant. That, her performance in that is just so brilliant, man. You guys need to, you definitely need to check that movie out if you haven't. Scenes where she's drugged out, going under depression and everything. Freaking amazing, freaking amazing. Jenna Ortega, the ma she's a master actress in this generation, especially. She's one of my favorites of this generation. Um, what films have I seen of her? Um, I said Wednesday didn't I? Yeah, that character. I still need to do some more. I'll do, I'm carrying on doing the. Uh, I, I did reaction to episode one. I still need to carry on and do this. Just by the time. What other reaction? What other movies are you know, then? Yeah, Babysitter Killer Queen. That was the first film I seen of her. You know, so uh, I knew that she was so good. That's why I had to go check out her other films out because you can tell by the way she acts, like she really knows her stuff. She really puts the effort into her acting. So when I seen that, I wanted to put the effort in to go and watch her other stuff as well. But uh, like, this, this is what I need, man. This is what I need. And I watched it, and she was so amazing. She's super talented. And watching all of her other stuff, especially. Wednesday, Wednesday, I think Wednesday, no, Fallout, in my opinion, is the best than Wednesday. I'm so, yeah, Fallout's crazy. But yeah, if you guys are general Tiga fans, Scream was good as well. 
Uh, she doesn't walk around and all of that stuff. We need to see that in this film, of course. I need to see her like walking around and being more active. In that film, he, he broke her leg and made her sit in a wheelchair. So it was really hard. Uh, yeah, she was in stretcher. She was basically in the hospital throughout the whole movie. But this film is going to be so cool because she's going to be running around and um, there's going to be more scope for her acting. So I want to see it. Again. Hopefully she's not the killer. That would really make me sad. <laughs> but thingy, uh, Jenna Ortega, I don't have a crush on her or anything, but Jenna Ortega is just an amazing actress. And I'm a fan. Happy to say that. And yes, Scream series. Um, is there anything else I need to say about Scream before I wrap up this video? The reason I even watched Scream was that because I saw somewhere, I was seeing like horror movie um, like stuff on YouTube and a clip from that film came and when, when she's talking to the guy, some guy on the phone and she's like, oh, why do you, he's like, have you got a boyfriend? She's like, no. And he's like, you never told me your name. She's like, why do you want to know my name? And he's like, because I want to know who I'm looking at. What did you say? I want to know who I'm talking to. That's not what you said. Though that scene was so scary as well as why would anybody live in the middle of the woods, man? So the police and the ambulance can't get there in time. Oh my days. I don't think I could ever live in the middle of the woods. Because, bro, my biggest fear is if anything happens to me, if I was an old man and if anything happens to me, if I got, or got a heart attack or something, who's gonna, how am I going to get help? How am I going to get medical help? Exactly. No one's going to make it in time. So yeah, he does say, yeah, there's no point calling the police because they ain't going to make it in time. And they didn't make it in time. They, they stretched her and they hung her up on the thing. That was so gross. That was so bad. Um, yeah, the Billy and Stu. Yeah. If, you haven't, if you're not a fan of the Scream series, definitely go and check it out. If you are like sensitive to like those kind of scenes with gore and blood, uh, this is definitely not a film for you. But uh, yeah, just be careful. But uh, anyone else who doesn't mind anything, give it a try. You might, guys might enjoy it. And if you are a big fan of Scream, let me know which one's your favorite. Mine's one of four of my favorites. I did not, yeah, two's okay, three, mm -hmm. but uh, two, one and four are very good. Uh, the girl, the Gail Weathers character, she was, she performed really well in number four. The villain, which was the niece of Sidney Prescott. I don't know, did I even see Sidney Prescott in this? Anyways, um, the, uh, the villain character and Sidney Prescott's niece, that was really good. Um, the, in number four, that was really good. That fight, that was crazy. That was good. She is a psycho, that little girl is, man. She is a psychopath. Yeah, so I want to see what the motives are as well for the killers. Anyways, I'm looking forward to this, man. Thank you so much for watching my little dragons. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below. Share with your friends and family and drop a like. And links to my training videos and my playlists will be down in the description and it will be down in the comments below. So please go and show, show your love check by checking those videos out and show your love to me by liking, commenting and sharing those videos. I want to get yeah, more of a reach, the more the better. And guys, if you love me, if you love my content, if you just love this chain, you should really consider hitting that subscribe button as it will help your little dragon out. So very much, man. I love you all. You're amazing. You're all awesome, man. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay awesome, my little dragons. And I will see you all in the next video, man. Yeah.